Hi, this is Teacher Jennifer from U.S. Citizenship Podcast. Every week we bring you practice interviews, quizzes, resources, and the latest news that help you get ready for your U.S. Citizenship interview. In San Jose, we have really noticed the increased wait times to process N-400 applications for naturalization. Applicants who used to wait for about four months are now waiting eight months or more. This weekend, I received a joyful text from my longtime student, Min Hui, that she finally received her citizenship appointment letter. Here is her practice interview from June, plus a round-robin civics quiz from her fellow citizenship students. After her interview, I will talk a bit more about how to check USCIS processing times. Let's get started. Welcome to USCIS. Why are you here today? I get citizen test. Are you ready to begin? Yes. Do you have any questions before we begin? No. Please stand and raise your right hand. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Put down your hand. What did you just promise? I'll tell the truth. Explain how you are eligible to become a U.S. citizen. I have a green card of over five years. What is your legal name? My legal name is Min Hui Liu. What is your date of birth? My date of birth is January 16, 1967. What is your country of birth? China. What is the, your date of permanent residence? January 19, 2007. And what is your country of nationality? China. Are you requesting an accommodation because of a disability? No. Where do you reside? Uh, Lee Peters. Who lives with you? My son with my husband. Have you lived anywhere else in the past five years? No. What is your source of income? I work. Where do you work? Be my electric. What is your job? SMT. Uh, machine, machine operator? Yeah. Okay. Have you taken any trips outside the United States in the past five years? No. What is your marital status? I marry. What is your husband's name? I Sui Chang Liu. What is his job? My job? No, what is your husband's job? Uh, Steam some chef. Do you have any children? Only one children. Yeah. How old are they? 23. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever voted in the United States? No. What is vote? To the leader and the law. Do you belong to any groups or organizations? No. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? No. Have you ever been a terrorist? No. Have you ever sold or given weapons to another person? No. Have you ever committed a crime? No. Have you ever been arrested? No. Have you ever married two husbands at the same time? No. Did you marry your husband to get a green card? No. Have you ever sold or smuggled illegal drugs? No. What are illegal drugs? Illegal job is open, Halloween. Have you ever been deported? No. What is deported? Deported in booking the law, get back, uh, kick out country. Do you support the Constitution and the form of government of the United States? Yes. What is the Constitution? Constitution is the penal of the land. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States government? Yes. What is the oath of allegiance? Loyalty to the United States. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. What is bear arms? May I use the weapon protect the United States. Are you willing to perform non-combatant services for the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. What is non-combatant? Tell U.S. Army without using a gun. Are you willing to help the government during a national emergency? Yes. Do you promise everything you say is true? Yes. Okay, officer. What ocean is the, on the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. Good. Kasi. So what territory did the United States buy from the France in 1803? Louisiana. Good. Good. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Loyalty to the United States. Paul. Go ahead. 
who is the chair of the executive branch? Excuse who me? Is in charge of the executive branch? Uh, president. Yes. Okay. Under our constitution, some power belongs to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To pay money. What are two rights of everyone living in Asam the United States? Freedom of assembly, freedom of speech. Felipe. You are signed in to becoming the law. Pasatan. Okay, good. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? Adopted. Adopted. July 4, 1776. Good. When was the Constitution written? 1787. Good. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. Civil War. Good. Okay, last one for Felipe. Well, stop one branch of the government from becoming too powerful. Cherish some parents. Joy. Thank you. Joy. <laughs> you <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> she passed. <laughs> Next. I'm waiting in the middle. How to check USCIS processing times. Number one, go to USCIS.gov. Number two, click the check processing times link on the front page or under the tools menu. Number three, select form N400 application for naturalization and your field office. Number four, click the Get Processing Time button. Number five, USCIS will give you a processing date range and a receipt date for case inquiry. For example, the San Jose office is eight to 14 months and the receipt date for case inquiry is June 20th, 2017, as of August 12th, 2018. Note one, you can also create an account to see your personalized case completion time on this Get Processing Times result page. Just follow the link. Note two, if your receipt date is before the receipt date for a case inquiry, you can submit an outside normal processing time service request online. The link is on this Get Processing Time Results page under Case Management Tools. Note 3. You can also use the USCIS Digital Assistant, Emma, to guide you through this procedure. Note 4. If you prefer to talk to a USCIS officer in person, go to the Tools menu, then choose Appointments. You can make an appointment at the InfoPass page. The officer can check your case status, but cannot give legal advice. Thanks to the students and staff of Milpitas Adult School. A special thanks goes out to Min Hui and her fellow classmates. Please visit us on the web at uscitizenpod.com where you can find more resources for citizenship. While you're there, click our link to visit the U.S. Citizen Pod channel on YouTube, download our free apps, or buy our book, U.S. Citizenship Boot Camp, which is now available on Amazon. Thanks for listening. I know that you will be a great American citizen. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.